To all my nature and animal lover friends, I'm going to let you know right now, the link to this Solium BF10 Hummingbird Feeder is in the description below because I already know you're going to want to get this, so order it or put it in your Amazon wish list right now. I'm going to show you how cool this Hummingbird Feeder is. It has 1080p high definition video, two-way intercom, an IPS 65 waterproof rating, has a built-in battery motion detection, cloud and SD storage, and it's easy to clean. So let's see what it comes with in the box and let's get this unboxing started. So Solium decided to send me this BF10 Smart Hummingbird Feeder to review and as always, I'm going to give you my honest, unbiased opinion and show you how to set it up, how to clean it, and how it works. So they give you a nice warning that tells you basically before you even open it, don't break it, and that you have to open it from the bottom. The top is fixed on and sealed so ants and other bugs or leakages won't come from the top. They also give you a nice, easy to follow direction uh, pamphlet to show you how to take the camera out, to charge it, and to clean the feeder, which you will need to do. I would recommend cleaning weekly, but for this review, I actually left it in two weeks because it is cold here and the chances of bacteria growing is currently less, but I'll get to that later. So if you're interested in the pamphlets, please pause on each page because I'm going to speed it up just for the sake of the video length. They also send you this really nice bird feeding guide that gives you a little information on the 10 most popular bird species in North America. This was a really nice unexpected gesture because the feeder actually with a subscription is capable of identifying over 10,000 birds with artificial intelligence, which I will show you how you can add that on later. But this pamphlet gives a nice little how to attract birds to the backyard. And I thought it was really useful because I definitely haven't had any experience with bird feeders. And in the back, they also include instructions on how to keep squirrels away. If that's something in your area, I don't have problems with squirrels here, but they also give you an antenna uh, and two cleaning brushes, which I will show you later how to put that on. And the antenna obviously helps with the Wi-Fi. Included are two hanging hooks and extra feeding ports, which is nice. So if you have, if you lose or break one or something happens, you know you have extras as well as a USB charging cord, which will charge the battery. But I'll go over that in my experience with that later. But here's the smart Hummingbird camera here, already like set up. So you have to take the plastic off, of course, before you use the camera. And they have a warning on top that says, do not unscrew the top because again, it is fixed on and everything that you will need to do will be on the bottom. Okay, so these are Hummingbird feeders. It comes with three of them, and that's the top where the hooks will go. On the back, you'll see the port for the antenna as well as the speaker, which is actually really loud. And then some directions on how to push out the camera. So you push it out through the back, and I'll show you later on. And they also say hold the camera to avoid dropping. So pretty self-explanatory. I will show you how to turn the camera on and where the SD card goes later. There are two bird ledges, which is nice that they actually send you two ledges in case something happens to one or you would like to clean it and put the next one on right away. So yeah, nothing else is left in the box, just the styrofoam. And by the way, Solium really packaged this well. So this is the box with the antenna and the two cleaning brushes, which I will show you later how perfectly they work when cleaning. And this will give you better remote access to your Wi-Fi, uh, this antenna. And then here are also the extra hummingbird feeders. And it's really cool because they're actually different colors. The ones that it comes, uh, the ones that it comes with installed um, already are red. So if you wanted to put one of each color, you could. Those are two hanging hooks. And then this is the USB cord that I will show you later. And they also give you a little SIM injector tool to press the reset button, which is a little hole. And this is a closer look at the hooks. So the good and cool thing about Sol Solium is that they actually send you this hook, which you can put right on the top. 
and the three spots that you see on the top of the feeder now and then this is a little extender hook so you can put it on like that and then hang so that's nice that they give you that and then here is a close-up of the extra hummingbird feeders they give you six which is really nice so all in total you have nine hummingbird little port feeders so like i said if you wanted to put one of each color in you would actually still have six left over um, in case you were in a rush cleaning and you decided to swap them out but the cleaning takes less than like five minutes it's actually really quick but i'll show you that later here's the cleaning brush this is the tiny brush you will use that to clean the hummingbird feeder port thingies so the first thing you are going to do when you take everything out the box you're going to put it down and take this plastic uh direction thing off on how to take the camera out and you're going to charge it the charging port is right here in the back on the top so you just open this up and then put in the usb cord just like so and then you are going to charge this for about six hours it takes to fully charge and you will see on the front that the light is like a yellow light and the light will stay yellow while it's charging and then i don't know if you can see it clearly i tried to show you but when it's done charging you could take it uh well make sure you take off the perspective film before you forget so that the camera and motion sensor are not blocked then when it's finished charging it will turn green so let me show you what it looks like when it's done charging when it's green you just take out the cord from the charging port put on the antenna for the wi-fi extender and put on the bird ledge on the front you just pop on the bird ledge and then put on the hooks on the top and now that's basically ready but wait we still have to make the hummingbird food so their little serum or maybe syrup hummingbird feed i don't know what to call it exactly but basically it's really simple so i'm going to show you how to make that now so when i first made this i made four cups of just plain water and then you used one fourth ratio of sugar to water so i put four cups this time and i think the capacity is a little bit less than what i made but i believe it's half of this but I was just eyeing it because I didn't know. Um, but I would recommend you just make two cups and then just do one fourth cup because that's the ratio. Because you're going to have to clean this out. You're not going to have this sit for like a month because the thing is, bacteria loves water and, and, and sugars. So I would actually recommend you clean this every three days. But I know that's not probably realistic, so I would say minimum clean this once a week. If not, you could possibly stretch it out to two weeks depending on the season, like winter. Um, but if it's summertime, I would just really recommend you clean it once a week. Every week minimum because you don't want to be killing the birds that you're actually trying to be friends with while trying to save the environment and help. So this is just me showing you how easy it is to make it just for examples, uh, just for an example in the video. So going forward, I will only make about two cups because the hummingbirds do not actually drink it as fast as you would think. And you want to make yourself clean it more frequently anyways. I would say you can even get away with putting in one cup weekly and still have extra left over. Um, but anyways, just put in your water and sugar mix and that's all they need. Please do not add any dyes. I know if you buy hummingbird feed, it will be red, but it's really not necessary. The hummingbirds definitely started to come within 20 minutes of me putting it up. So they are very smart and they are aware and they will start coming immediately when they see it. Okay. So don't think you have to attract them with bells and whistles and dye. That's not really healthy for humans or birds so anyways after you your water and sugar ratio of one fourth the amount of sugar to water is made you will simply turn it upside down because the bottom will be screwed off and pour it in now you see how much i have left over i have about two and a half cups left so this feeder only holds about two and a half cups so if you want to fill it you can really do one cup and uh it will be fine and then you'll just replace and clean it in a week if you have a dedicated cup maybe you could refrigerate the rest and use it for the next week but just for the bacterial reasons i would recommend a new batch every time so you don't get them sick so screw the bottom on and then now we are ready to install the app on your phone the first thing you will need to do is push out the camera from the back like so 
And then the nice thing about Solium is they actually sent a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which is really helpful because you don't have to go out and purchase an additional one. The micro SD is already installed. So that was a really nice thing. Thank you so much for that Solium. And here is the power button next to it. And then the little SIM injector tool uh, that I showed you earlier will go in that little hole there to reset it if you have any technical issues, which I haven't by the way. So make sure you pull out the camera before you hang it up on the hook outside to feed because we will need to turn it on to actually connect the app to the phone and you know get our settings set up so that we can view the birds and have it attached to our account. So my buddy here is curious and he is watching me do it. Now the speakers on this is actually really loud so if you need to scare squirrels or anything or speak to speak to someone if you're using this as a security camera as well as a bird feeder, they will definitely hear you loud and clear. When you first put it on, it will light up and let you know that it's on. And then if you press it again, it turns off. Okay, so now you have turned it on and heard the little bell uh, chime and everything's good to go. Just push the camera right back in. Make sure it's snug and if you haven't already attached the antenna in the back, it's really simple. Just screw it on like this until that is nice and snug and then put it up vertically and you can attach your hook. Just simply put the hook in the holes on the top and then now we are ready to download and install the app. So go ahead on your phone and use that QR code. That's going to bring you to the Solium Pro app on your Android or iPhone to install and then you will download it um, and then when it's ready to download you will have to agree on the notifications which I will allow because I want to see when birds or anything comes and then also agree to their user agreement and privacy policy. Now it shows you a little device management thing on uh, you can live stream, which is cool and share uh, and the intelligent notifications, which is the artificial intelligence to identify the birds. And then you can actually set activity zones as well. So now because this is my first time using a Cilium product, you will need to sign up for an account, probably like me, then they will send you a verification code to your email. Once you get that, put it in, and then you will be able to customize your password. Once you selected a password, go ahead and click done, and then congratulations, you have successfully registered. Now you will need to please add a device, so add a new device, and now, and it uses Bluetooth, and then it shows you a little bit of directions. We already plugged in the device and charged it and powered it on, and we heard the sound and saw the light, so we will click I heard the sound or saw the light on and hit next step. And so you will hear that chime when it's ready to connect. So now it has identified my Solium and click on that. And then now it will say configure your Wi-Fi for the device. They use 2.4 gigahertz, not a five uh, gigahertz network. Okay, so go ahead and put in your network ID along with your password, confirm. And then uh, it says when prompted connect to the Wi-Fi network. So it will prompt you on the camera Wi-Fi network to connect. And then it will go through these little four steps, connect the device to the network, then a new device found, and then register it to the cloud service if you want. Initialize the device, okay. Once that is done, you will get a connection, succeed a check mark. And then you will have to set a name and location for the device. I named mine Solium to keep it simple and I put my location as backyard. Next step, please place the device where you need to install. So go ahead and do that and check the strength of the Wi-Fi signal. My strength is medium in the backyard, so that's fine. You can hit next step. Now it says, how do you plan on using your device? I plan on using battery power only, so hit next. And then they say install location, uh, best for motion detection, and it gives you a little tip. That's how basically I will be doing it on the roof. You can mount the camera however you would like on the pole or hook. Um, they also offer this subscription for the AI service right there. I didn't choose it, but they do give you a month free. So if I wanted to, I could have tested that out. 
So if you would like to check it out and see what different type of birds are in your area, I highly suggest looking into that because that would be really cool. I know I just have two birds that show up um, that have showed up in the last uh, two or three weeks. Maybe I will get more in the summer or spring or winter time. Um, but now I'm making this video in the winter time. So perhaps I'll do the free trial in the summer and show you guys later. Let me know in the comments below. So I'm just going to finish setting up this device. So here is where I'm going to install my camera. I do not have a pole or hook that I will put it on like in the dirt. So I will just get these little things. What do you call these plant hanging hooks from your local home department store? I think I got these from Lowe's or Home Depot and I had to use a little bit of elbow grease because the wood here is a little strong. But if you get a ladder or a chair that's high enough, you could put a little elbow grease in and just do it like I did and just put this on. I screwed in the hook until it wouldn't go anymore and that was basically firm enough because the feeder isn't heavy uh, nor are the birds. So I figure it was hard enough for me using all my might that it will be good enough to hold the weight of the hooks and the feeder and the birds. So I just used the little plant hook and I put it on and now I'm basically ready to set up the settings I would like in the app. When you first go on, you can uh, live, uh, hit the live view and it will show a little thumbnail of your location. So once you go into it um, and hit up where the settings icon is, which is to the left of the notification envelope you see there, you will see your camera settings, the battery, the status of the Wi-Fi, as well as the location and current status of the camera if it's online or disconnected from the Wi-Fi. You also get to see motion detection, notification settings, alarm settings, video settings, SD card video, which it automatically saves every video to your SD card management, which is really nice. So you get to see how much storage you have left on on the included SD card or micro SD card that they sent you. The lighting settings, which is motion detection, and it also comes with the LED light at night, uh, which I did not turn on because I actually wanted my battery to last longer, as well as the power settings and audio settings. Um, you can share this camera and, and video feed with other people in your family or home if you wish. I went into the motion detection and I kept, uh, kept the detection on low because I'll show you later and not only does it pick up birds but if the wind blows it on the hook it will notice that and the camera's moving um, and, and basically will record it to whatever duration you put in the record setting which is what I just went into. They also have a scheduled sleep setting so the camera will automatically turn off at night if you would like which I will probably do to preserve battery in the future. But if you would like to keep it on to notice motion, like if you want it as a security camera, you can use this as well. So they offer intelligent notification and activity zones. So you will have to describe to subscribe to their awareness plan to get those intelligent notifications. There's also alarm settings, which I shut off in the flashlight. I shut off because again, battery preservation but it comes with the video set to standard definition by default but just go ahead and put it on uh, hd which is the maximum because that's what we got this for to view you can also rotate the image 180 degrees there's the ansley flicker setting and also auto night vision settings which you can do color mode but the light will come on and i kept it off again for battery reasons so i installed this on the 28th so this is actually the SD card video that you just seen. That's how it looks when you go in there. The light settings I turned off. I don't need the birds or anyone knowing that the camera is on while it's recording. So um, I will keep that off. Also the auto off uh, charging um, because I plan to charge it every two weeks when I clean it. I'll keep that off. The alarm volume uh, you heard early is way too loud, so I don't need any of that either. I turned mine down. I will be speaking. I won't be speaking to the birds or anyone in the backyard, so I turned them down. And then the live audio recording and video audio recording I kept on because I would like to keep those. And if in fact I decide to use it in the future. So here's the home screen again. If you go to their explore tab, you will see other products that they do provide. I do like this a lot because. If I would like to set up another feeder, which I probably will in the future because I enjoyed this so much, I will get bird seed and put that up as well. If you hit user, you can click on your device management, app language, location management, uh, friends device, things like that. 
And then here's another uh, going through the Explorer again, just to give you a little idea of what you can do. But here's the home again. So when you click on library, all your recent videos will show up in chronological order and you can click on them individually to view them. So then I'll show you that later, but this is before I put the camera up. So don't worry about that. So here's the live view. You will see it, that it's live with the notification up there. And here are the different plans. So if you would like to go in and make it uh, like to go in and uh, have the smart awareness activated to detect, you know, animals or people, you have to get the awareness service plan. The basic intelligent notification is $299 and the pro is $799 annually. So the basic is um, $299, uh, $3199 annually, you get five gigs. Um, and then the plus is 30 day cloud reporting up to five gigs with $499 monthly subscription and $849 annually. And then they also give you a one month free trial with that one. And then the pro is intelligent notification, 60 day cloud recording up to 10 gigabytes with the activity zone for a 799 monthly and an 86.99 annual subscription uh, at this time of the video. So you'll be able to recognize over 10,000 species of birds at this time. So if you're interested in that, I will highly recommend that. It will be very fun to figure out how many different species of birds came to your backyard so here's an idea of what a notification will look like. You can also send feedback depending on the service that you have. If you did sign up for the monthly subscription to identify the birds and it comes back correct or incorrect, so you can let them know. So this was the first bird that came and it was not a hammering bird, but definitely came very quickly. And then I will show you a couple of clips that I got. And if you're interested, I will make a full video of all the birds that came over the last three weeks. I will also be letting you know next what the video quality looks like in the day during rainy weather as well as the nighttime. Here I just checked in a little later after I have the camera up for about a week or two. I will insert the exact time after I left it up, but this is the battery level. When I took it out approximately three weeks and I left the camera on with no sleeping schedule at low detection sensitivity, it was 15%. So um, when I go to take it out and clean it and do this video, I will insert the exact time it was up at those two battery levels. But yeah, so I also have four gigabytes used out of the 32 that it came with. And that's about three weeks of footage. So that gives you an idea of how long the memory will last with the card that they give you, um, which is pretty good because I think it's very reasonable because let's say you make a folder on your computer and every time you clean it, maybe every week or two weeks while you're charging the battery full, you can actually take out the SD card and just drag the video files over into another folder. So this card should last about at least a month without any file transfers or running out of space. So it has more than enough space on HD. Okay, so there weren't any cons really to my experience with the Solium BF10, but because this is an honest review and you guys are looking to me for my honest experience, my only gripe is the motion detection. So periodically, depending on the wind in your area, if the camera is hanging from the hook and it moves, it will detect that motion and make a video file, however long you have the setting set. So in the beginning, you saw the 5, 10, and uh, 20 second intervals. I had mine set to 20 because I want to view the birds as long as possible, but it will record a blank video with no birds just because of the wind and the shaking. So here's an example of that, um, like a video just shaking in the wind. And I was super excited to go see one of my new friends I made and it was totally unoccupied. So you will get a blank video of just the wind blowing. And this also happens at night as well because the camera detects that, I guess, motion in the background shaking. So if you're in a windy area and you do not have the intelligent awareness plan set up, you will just get ghost videos of shaking along with the real birds showing up. But nonetheless, the motion detection is good. Uh, and the battery still lasted a long time and so did the storage. So now that the cons are out of the way, 
let me show you how easy it is to clean. Now, look at the water level here. This is after approximately three weeks ago. You guys just see me fill it up three weeks ago and I left it outside and now I came back and only this amount was used. I would say that's about one fourth cup, maybe less, because this whole thing is about two and a half cups. So the hummingbirds, even though they come and I've actually had them come all throughout the day, every day and they still didn't drink a lot so i i don't know if the volume of birds will speed up as the weather gets warmer but here in february in a desert climate they came and drank daily and this is how much is left you see they drink a little bit at a time i guess they're concerned about their weight <laughs> but they are very responsible and come only when needed it appears so this is very simple to clean you are going to bring this by the sink because as soon as you turn it upside down the water that's in the hummingbird feeder ports are going to pour out so just make sure you turn it upside down by the sink so it doesn't matter if it gets messy what you want to do is push the camera from the front to the back and give it a little bit of uh muscle because the camera was stuck in there you will have to apply a little bit of pressure just to push it out but the good thing is it doesn't fall out easily so push it out through the back and get that out the way because you don't want that to get super to get sugar water on it and to have it get sticky and then turn the feeder upside down so the water comes out of the feeders make sure you know you're ready and prepared for that because i wasn't <laughs> but yeah as you unscrew the water bowl the water will continue to come out and now the hard part is done now we can just pour that out and then get the brushes and your soap ready so now we are ready to clean so the top of this comes off to get in there too and that's really cool because you want to get in there so that you do not accidentally poison the birds with the bacteria that grew in the stale water and get the handy dandy brush put some soap on that and then you're going to clean all inside the little reservoir and the nook and crannies make sure you are careful and scrub everywhere so that all the stale sugar water is gone and then you're going to want to take the bottom of the top and get underneath there where the top is where the feeders are and get that small little skinny brush put some soap on that and then you're gonna wanna go right inside those holes. It's a perfect size brush. I'm so glad that they sent the necessary tools and supplies so that the cleaning process is simple and just a really effective. So scrub in there, then you can rinse it and rinse the water through the holes so you get the soap out and that is done. So now I'm just gonna clean the ledge. You know, they don't eat from there, but why not clean it while I have everything else clean so that they have a nice clean place to put their feet uh, to the side uh, and then get the brush again, put some soap on it and then go in the actual feeder on the sides and in the bottom and clean up there where any of the sugar water was and then put a little bit of water on the bottom and then scrub because the brush can't go underneath and around the container. So make sure you get the soap water in there and switch it around a little bit like that so that the soap water gets on the top and then you are done. While you're cleaning, uh, just go ahead and charge the camera so that it's ready to go. I will show you about 13 clips in this video that the, my camera captured and I love them so much. So here was the first bird that came and he came within like five minutes of me putting it up. So I told you, you do not need anything to attract them. The birds are super smart. They will find it. And he's looking around and I'm inside the house like, oh, poor buddy, it's a hummingbird feeder and I don't know if he'll reach or get anything, but I'll get bird seeds for him and the rest of the birds later because I felt so bad because I kind of felt like he was left out, but he figured out in a while, like he could put his beak in the hole, but I don't know if he got any water, but that was the first and only bird that I seen that came to this feeder that was not a hummingbird. 
but I wish I had the other the bird identifier or if any of you guys know what type he is comment below but he did come back and uh he did you know I don't know hopefully he got some energy for the rest of his day uh after he tried to drink but after that the hummingbirds started coming um immediately so if you look up at the time you'll see how quickly this hummingbird came after the first one and he knew exactly what to do so i was so happy because i didn't have i didn't know in the winter in my area that they would be hummingbirds but they are so um i'll stop talking and i'll let you enjoy the rest of the clips Please subscribe, like this video, the link for the Cellium BF10 is in the description below, like this video, and after this, um, I will be uploading a longer video of me not talking, just straight bird videos for you to enjoy very soon, so subscribe so you can see that, and let me know when you get your own Cellium uh, BF10 feeder. Um, I would love to meet other bird feeding friends on the interweb, so until next time, this only in BF10 definitely did not disappoint and is exactly what every nature and animal lover needs. Thank you. 